Uh, it's, I've always wanted to join the army really, um, ever since I was a wee boy. Um, I was sort of going through school and I knew what I always wanted to do. And it was just when I left, I left um, when I was 17. And then that was the first thing I'd done, I went straight to the careers office to join up. I was a tank crewman in the Royal Scots Dragoon Guards. I was really proud and it was like the first proper job that I had and um, so I was I was getting a good bit a good bit of money for myself um, and I mean I had I'd never been anywhere um, before um, really other than Scotland so the army it was a great opportunity for me to travel about and yeah, it was it was something else it was really good after after my um, my initial training, I was stationed in Germany. I was there for three and a half years, and that's when I then went to um, Iraq for my first tour. Such a hard um, thing to describe. Um, before you are used to like you'll be with your pals, and obviously the training is very serious. But you'll be able to have a laugh and a joke about it, and then if you're going for that for your training to a totally different extreme. Was, it, was, it was quite hard and quite testing for everybody. Um, the place that we were in was, the, the locals were quite friendly with us. It was just a small um, sort of, it was at the port in Umkazar, and we got on well with everybody. So it was just like any other normal day, and a normal morning, we'd done our checks, we were getting ready to go out on our water ration run, and we were only maybe five minutes away for, um, from the camp when we were driving along in a patrol and we were hit by a roadside explosion, a roadside IED. Um, it just happened so fast. Um, it was this enormous crack in the side of my ear and dust everywhere. Um, it was like sort of everything goes in slow motion then. And I know it's happening really fast, but everything goes in slow motion. You need to take a couple of seconds just to gather yourself and see what's just happened and then that was when I had realised that um, we had just been hit by a bomb and we saw the vehicle then came to a stop. I had to make sure that my colleagues were okay um, and then that's when I noticed that one of them, other than myself, was in quite a bad way. It was my commander, uh, one of my friends was killed in the incident itself. Um, it was Quite, quite a bad explosion. We got Kazivak to um, Shaiba Field Hospital, and that's where I received my immediate treatment. They are just, it was like a scene at the ER, and it was the best way to describe it. And um, one uh, it must have been the head, the head consultant says, "Right, Stuart, we're going to put you to sleep." and when you wake up, you'll be in the UK. It's, it's like everything sort of happens at once. I mean, you think you're going to be in the army for your 22 years and then something like that happens. Um, you get a medical discharge and then you find yourself um, and back in Civvy Street looking for a job. Um, I've I've just um, recently been given a house from the Scottish um, Gardens Veteran Association um, and they, they received some funding from Poppy Scotland um, and this also uh, I've been given money to decorate the house um, buy some furniture like fridges, cookers, uh, washing machine, all that, all that sort of stuff to help me uh, along with the, with the transition for army life and the civilian life. So if it wasn't for Poppy Scotland, I would be in a pretty um, bad situation. I just left with, with nothing basically because you didn't plan for this. As I say, I thought I was going to be in army for the 22 years and then all of a sudden I'm out in Civvy Street and I'm needing help and that's where Poppy Scotland coming to help me. I'm hoping to start up my own taxi business um, in the near future. I, I need a business loan and I'm hoping to get that from Poppy Scotland. There's so many so many different ways in which the charity can help you out, um, whether it be from financial difficulties, um, from um, not having any accommodation, um, to maybe mental or physical problems. It's, it's good to know that Poppy Scotland's always going to be there for me. Um, five, 10, 20 years down the line, Poppy Scotland can help you.